In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a Pinterest save button to your website using Web Starts. Here you can see I've added a Pinterest save button to this web page, and when I click on it, another window opens up and it allows me to specify an image that I would like to save to one of my boards on Pinterest. And then you can see if I go through the process and click see it now, that pin or that photo is pinned to one of my boards on my Pinterest account. This is a great way to visually promote your website. Let me show you how I did that in the Web Starts Editor and also using the Pinterest widgets. So to create your widget, the first thing you need to do is go to developers.pinterest.com and then click on Tools. That will take you to the Pinterest Widget Builder. There you'll see you have five different options that you can build or widgets that you can build. Just make sure you choose the one called the Save button for this demo. Next, you're going to choose your button type. You can choose to make your button focus on one single image. If you want to do that, you choose one image. You can have your button present all the images on a page, and if you want that effect, then be sure to choose any image. And then you can also have your image have the save button when somebody hovers over a specific image. If you'd like to use that option, then select it. But for this demo, we're just choosing a single image. So I've chosen one image from the button type field. The next field you'll see is custom image. This is if you wanted to change the style of the button to be a custom image that you may be created on your own computer, like in Photoshop or whatever. And here you can see Pinterest makes some brand recommendations if you choose that option because you'll be creating something that represents their brand. But for this demo, I'm going to skip that because it's a little bit complicated. Now there are a couple of options in terms of the way that you want to display your Pinterest button. You can make it just be the round Pinterest logo by checking this box or you can make it large or small by checking this box. Next is your default language. I speak English. I'm going to leave that set, but you can choose whatever language, obviously, you want from the drop-down menu. And then you can choose whether to show your pin count. Your pin count is just this number of pins that appears above the Save button. I have it shown above, but you can show it beside, and you can see what that looks like in the preview panel as well, or you can not show it at all. I'm going to leave that on above the button. Now the next thing you have is the URL field and this is the URL that you want to promote with that pin. So in my example, I'm actually going to use this website right here as the website that I want to share a link for on Pinterest when somebody does go through this process. So be sure to add the HTTP colon slash slash in front of your URL because if you don't then Pinterest will think it's an invalid URL format. Next is the URL for the specific image. So what I'm going to do is clear out what's already in this field. Then I'm going to navigate over to my page. I'm going to find the image that I want to share on Pinterest or allow people to pin to their Pinterest board. It's going to be this one, and then I right click on that image and I choose copy image address. I'm using Chrome, so the verbiage is copy image address, but if you're using another browser, it may be a little bit different. But the bottom line is you have to get the URL to the specific image that you want to share. So make sure that you're able to find that and then copy and paste it into this image field. And then lastly is a description. They pre-populate this to say next stop Pinterest, but you can put whatever you want into that field. So now that we have selected our options, we have a little bit of HTML code that we need to add to our page. So what we do is we select all of that HTML code, copy it to our clipboard, and then we come over to our Web Starts Editor, click Insert, HTML code. Now you do have to have a paid plan to access HTML code just because there are so many things you can do with it. And that's what this warning is all about, by the way. It's just saying, hey, you're working with the HTML code, so if you mess something up, that's why. We're going back over to Pinterest. We're copying this little piece of code 
at the bottom here that we need as well. And then we're moving right back over to where we paste the code in the web starts editor. And then what I did is I just created another line below the first set of code and then pasted that second little piece of code. And now I click OK. So here you can see something was added to my page, but it's not visible. And that's actually the JavaScript Pinterest widget. It's just unable to render because of the nature of my page. But if I click preview, I should be able to see that button on my page. And I do. But obviously, I don't want my button to be right over that word. So I actually want it to be just right here to the left of this button. So to do that, select that kind of invisible element and then drag and resize it. And then what you'll do is you'll preview it to make sure you have it in the spot that you want. So I click preview again in the web starts page editor. And then you can see I still want a little bit closer to this button and a little bit further down the page. So I'm going to go back over to my page editor and I'm just going to move it a little bit more. Preview again. This part can be a little bit tedious. And I like where it shows up there. So now when somebody clicks on that save button, it's going to pop up this other window and it's going to allow people to pin that image that I specified directly to their Pinterest board. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be the first to find out when we release a new video. Leave your comments and questions below. Let me know if you'd like to see a video specific to those other types of Pinterest widgets because I can make those as well. And don't forget to visit webstarts.com to create your very own free website. Thanks for watching.